Hello everybody and welcome back to another one of my videos. If you are new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe and leave a comment. And I am going to be creating a card today. I wasn't planning on turning on the camera, but I figured this is a new stamp set uh, for me. So I wanted to share with you guys. And I am using the new uh, Concord and Ninth Mini Mandalas stamp set. And I hope I'm saying that right. Um, I am using the Tim Holtz stamp platform, which I have read that is going to be shipping um, the end of July at the very latest, a new, new revised version of it. So I just wanted to throw that out there. I know I would probably get a million questions, um, but I needed to use this tool for this project. And um, I'm using some Tonic Studios embossing powder and what I did was I used some of that baby powder that comes in that tool and just rubbed it along the watercolor paper because I wanted to make sure I wasn't going to get um, any embossing powder in areas that I didn't want and because it's watercolor paper um, I stamped the image twice with Versamark just to make sure that the stamp was um, the Versamark was really sticky on the watercolor paper because the watercolor paper will uh, absorb some of that Versamark ink. So I lined it up. It's kind of hard because I'm using white on white. So I lined it up and I didn't know this. There is a little um, stamping, uh, like it's a clear sheet that helps you line it up. I didn't know that. I was watching somebody else's video and and I saw them and then it comes in the package. So uh, for next time, I definitely will use that. But for now, for this video, I eyeballed it and I got it pretty close. Uh, so anyways, I continue to do that and I do stamp it twice, like I said, um, just to make sure that the Versamark is nice and sticky. So I'm not going to talk through the whole video because I do um, the same thing through the whole um, image. So what I do is I take the watercolor brush and I can't remember if I said this is watercolor paper and I'll have links to all of the products I used. And I take the watercolor brush and I add a little bit of water to the area that I want to add color to. And what I'm using is the Jane Davenport Mermaid Markers, I think they're called. And uh, I love the color. I definitely uh, prefer using my watercolor confections rather than these um, but I wanted to try them out and um, I do like them but I probably won't use them that much so anyways uh, so I add a little bit of water to the area that I want and then I add a little tiny line of color and then I kind of pounce my uh, watercolor brush and kind of blend it out or in whatever way you want your shadow to be. So at first I wanted, I did the shadow on the outside of the um, image. But then I decided I wanted it like on the inside of the image, if that makes sense. As you could see the one that I did before, um, it's all like on the inside. So I am just going to con continue to color this. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. And I love reading your comments and give this video a thumbs up and share it on social media. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys later. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video.